Let's talk about the outline, a great way to add structure to your sessions and to your templates and to your canvases. It is a feature that'll help you navigate, but then also kind of help you structure your thoughts. I use it all the time. So let me quickly show you where the outline element is. If you go to the top right corner, you'll see that you have the outline icon right here. I'm gonna click on that and you'll see that the little menu bar will slide in. Now what I've done before the session, I actually added a piece of content to the outline already. It's a secret sticky note and it's hidden somewhere on the canvas. Now at the basic, 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 what the outline does, it actually adds a link or a reference point to the list. And once you click on that reference point, it'll take you straight across to where that element sits on the canvas. Now in this case, or in most cases, you can add any pieces of content, areas, icons, images, pieces of text, and add that reference point to the outline like I've done with the secret sticky note. You'll also notice here at the top that I indeed added a little description. And then what I can do if I wanted to, if I click on that little eyeball there, I can show and hide that sticky note. This is a really interesting feature because if you have canvases or elements on a, on a template or on a canvas that you prepared for a session, perhaps there's elements in your session that you want to hide for later in the session, or maybe you want to hide one of your brainstorming or ideation sessions in your back pocket for just in case. You can just click on that little eye there and it'll hide it away until you decide to reveal it again. Now let me quickly go back and show you how to add content to the outline, and then I'm gonna play a little around a little bit and demonstrate how you can modify some of the elements. Now, if you've been in any of the sessions with me, um, you know that I always make a few hamster jokes, and I'm gonna do a hamster joke just now by finding a hamster icon. If I can spell hamster, of course. And my favorite hamster always pops up right when I need it. And let's say I wanna add this hamster to the outline or at least a reference point. What I wanna do is I wanna right click on this item and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down and you'll see that there's a option there to actually add something to the outline. I'm gonna click on that and you'll see that there's now a new item at the top right in the outline. Because this is just a normal piece of content, I now have the ability to actually give it a title. I'm just gonna call it hamster, just to keep things clear. And then I'll show you if you click on these little dots here, I have the ability to rename it again if I wanted to. I can add instructions. So as you've seen in the sticky note, I can add a lot of details, tell the life story of the hamster if I wanted to. But this is handy if you wanna add uh, instructions to a piece of content or to that area of the canva canvas for your users. And then if I go back, you also have the ability to link to something. It's a little bit more advanced. Remember what I said when, I, when we started this video is that this is a link to a piece of content or an area on the canvas. Now remember, if I click here, just keep note that if I copy and paste this link somewhere, this is just another way to actually link to this hamster. So if I take this hyperlink, put it on another canvas or put it in some other area of the canvas here, and I click on that link, it's gonna take me to where the hamster is. So it's an interesting way of using it. You can also use it to facilitate it to build quite elaborate templates if you want to. And then also you have the ability to make the hamster more important and you can move things around. And then finally, also, if you want it, you can go and then remove Mr. Hamster from your outline. The other element that I want to quickly show you that is important or kind of interesting. Um, in general, when I add content to um, the outline, I usually use areas. In this case, I've just colored this area so it's more visible for you. Um, the way you add an area is similar. You just select the area, right click, and then you'll have add to outline somewhere here on your list. There it is, add it to, uh, to the area. And what you'll see is that what's really cool about this is that it actually grabs the title from the area that you can see on the area here, and it pre-populates the title in your outline. So it saves you a lot of time. So now you have um, that area added. I'm gonna add another area. So just to show you again, I'm gonna right click on the area that I have add to, out, add to outline and there you have the title pre-populated. Of course, you can go back and change it. It's not gonna change anything. But then also just to show you that all this works is that you can go and change the content around. So if I wanna to link to cluster two, um, it'll take me right there. I can go after cluster one, take me there. 
areas also get hidden. So if any content in there, if I click the eye, it'll hide everything in that area. So it's a really interesting way to hide content from your users until you as a facilitator want to reveal it again. So there you have it. Um, the outline feature, super handy. Also very handy when you run uh, presentations. A lot of people present things in Mural. Um, so to navigate through your presentation, the outline will do the job for you.